Good morning, afternoon and evening my crazies. My name's Angela, I'm the crazy poppy lady and welcome back to today's book review. This one is for Granny Square weekend. There is a 20 quick and easy crochet projects to make. And it is by Emma Ver Vernum. I will have the name on screen. Well, you can see it just down here. <laughs> Okay, so uh, come on, uh, let's uh, go and see what the, this book has for us this week. Right, so this book was first published in 2013. The price that you would have been paying is £14.99 in the UK and if you're in the US it would be £19.95. Not too bad. So come on, uh, let's open the page and have a look. It's quite a nice sized book with uh, some really nice imagery on it there we go so let's scoot through okay here are some images of uh, some of the squares that hopefully are in the book now our contents starts off with an introduction and a gallery getting started that's the case of what you need, crochet hooks and techniques and finishing touches. Then we move down to the projects. There is coasters, pot holders, headband, bunting, a cushion, table mat, case, doorstop, cowl, draft excluder, blanket, rattle, um, cushions. Then we come over here, we've got more blankets, a hat, another um, a comforter. Festival bag, fingerless mitts, toy blocks, striped beret. And then we come on to sources and resources, author acknowledgements, and then the index. So let's turn the page and have a proper look, shall we? Here's our introduction page. Scoot straight on. Now, this is the chic cushion, which is on a page 72. The a chunky lap blanket is on page 180 and the lazy edged blanket, I'm guessing that's that one, is on page 96. Now this is a really nice way to see the um, projects that are within this book. I like this. Let's turn over again. Now this one here is a bolster cushion which is on page 104. They've re-shown the the a chunky lap blanket and the lazy edged blanket. At least I hope I'm pointing to the right, <laughs> the right items as I say their names. Okay, on to this one. This one is a, a draft excluder on page 62. A smart door stop on page 84. Then we have some cherry coasters. They're page 56. The perfect pot holder, oops, opposite, is on page 60. We have a, a stylish a table mat on page 76. Glasses case, that one there, is on a page 80. Festival bag, page 120. Fingerless mittens. Ah, page 124. I could see those a bit. You'd be able to knock those up in about two hours for the set, I suppose. That includes sewing in the ends. <laughs> the 
this one here is a snug cowl which is on page 88 and then we have a, a bobble hat on page 112 moving on to the next page this is the flower headband and that's a page 64 we have a striped berry or beret on page 136 Oh, little cutie there. This is a, a rainbow rattle. No, the pattern for that one is on page 100. And the toy blocks, which are these ones here, are page 130. Then we move over to a panda comforter on page 116. Some pom pom bunting on page 68 so we've got pom-poms here with some triangle grannies gotta be careful i don't add that last word in <laughs> then we're moving over to the next section i believe we've seen all the photographs now of all of the items but we'll just jump through quick and then we're through that last little section so we've got the getting started so this describes everything you're going to need your hooks your yarn the differences between cottons and acrylics and mixes, some handy tips, other information you'll need. We've even got a, a UK a metric and US conversion chart for your crochet hooks. Most of the books have them though. <laughs> then we move on to our crochet techniques. Um, the differences between UK and US. It's a case of um, reading alongside here to double check that how the uk have written it out to how the us have okay and um, we've got some more abbreviations to the side and then they move on to photographs and written descriptions on how to do each of the stitches now let me just double check chain stitch slip stitch double crochet right so uh, this book is actually written in english the easiest way is you work your way up and if after slip stitch it says double crochet you know it's English whereas if it says single crochet after slip stitch you know it's an American book okay so we just scoot through as you can see a lots and lots there information on finishing touches how to make pom-poms how to join things together and then we move on to the patterns as you can see here they are written out quite nicely there are no charts yet no it doesn't look like they're putting charts with the patterns so let's just scoot through now with some of the oh yes they have with some of them they are placing a chart so you've got a chart for the table runner and you've got a how to put it together for the glasses case as you can see most of it is just the written english written pattern so i would say if you've not tackled reading patterns before i would i wouldn't use this one straight off okay because sometimes some you may find it easier to work through a chart rather than the written word because of course once you can work out what <laughs> the symbols mean <laughs> you'll whiz through right but anyway and that is a, a quick look at the granny square weekend it's not a bad little book um would this one make it to your bookshelf or would it be a borrow or would it be a, a leave behind i'd love to know in the description box and down below what you thought of the patterns in today's book and of course whether you buy it <laughs> right that is it for me for today i will see you all really really soon so please remember stay chilled stay happy and keep crafting goodbye everybody